Well, it's day four of Mauna Loa's eruption, and today it creeps closer to the major highway. Scientists from the Hawaii Volcanoes Observatory this morning said that the flow is now just 3.3 miles south of Daniel K. Inoi Highway, also known as DKI, and a new projection on when it might actually cross the road. Now, one week at the earliest. And this is because the lava hit flat ground, and it's harder to predict how it'll act. Sometimes the lava will fold in on itself or even in flight. It's also hard to guess in which direction that lava is going to move. And it is slowed considerably as we uh, were forecasting as it reached the uh, flat ground at the base of Mauna Loa. So it's in the saddle. It was moving at about 0.03 miles per hour, which is somewhere around 30 to 40 yards per hour at this point. We expect uh, from here on in for the, the movement of this flow to become somewhat sporadic as it goes across the flat ground. It will inflate, incoming lava will be stored in it, and then it will probably come out in lobes at different times. So it, sometimes it might appear to be moving faster and sometimes appear to be not moving at all. Well, Han did say that he doesn't expect a new fissure to open up, and it's too hard to predict how long this eruption will last. It could be two weeks or even a year. There are also plans for the county to open that viewing area off Old Saddle Road that we told you about yesterday, and that could be happening right now. But we're still waiting for official word from the mayor's office. Do it for, though, will tell you what the county is doing to help residents and businesses that rely on DKI to get to work or to ship goods from one side of the island to the other.